Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac, we're due for a random run. Are you really gonna do me dirty like this on the first floor, Eve? And Curse of the Lost. Well, Curse of the Lost isn't necessarily an objectively bad thing. It gives us more rooms. More rooms gives us more opportunity to get consumables. Gives us more opportunity to open doors that might contain things behind those doors that make Eve not so shitty. Like that single penny, for example. Although, for the amount of time we spent on that room, the reward doesn't necessarily seem proportional. As Napoleon Dynamite might say, that's like a dollar an hour. That's a very terrible impression. And I apologize as a result of it. Alright, so this is... You know, I, I can't complain about our last run. Our last run was sweet. What I can complain about, in my opinion, is the fact that we're going to be stuck with Eve. Eve is not the end of the world. Always. But getting a cube of meat on the very first floor is not going to help us out when it comes to our long-term goals. As Jeff Tweedy might say, we're short on long-term goals right now. That's not true, though. I have a lot of long-term goals. Even related to the Binding of Isaac, a short long-term goal might be not dying on this run. Or if we die, make sure that we have a 1-Up or an Ock to back us up. Thus far, this is going fine. The only thing is, you know, this boss fight has taken us forever. Famine is not... Ah, that sucked. Famine is not a difficult boss fight. Uh, and beyond that, we're only going to get a cube of meat, which is not going to make our lives that much easier in the long term. Or the short term. In the long term, actually more than the short term. I'm still got to stop talking about terms. I was, I'm getting confused. What am I, a presidential candidate or something like that? No, sir. Please drop a bomb. Any minute now, this will be over. Very excited for this. You know what would make Eve... I, okay, so I... Whenever I say things like this, I do like to preface it by saying that not everything in Isaac needs to be 100% balanced. And Eve is a character that Edmund has gone on record. He doesn't need me to defend his design decisions here, by the way. But I agree with him, which is why I'm choosing to, you know, go for it. Thank God we got that key for the future. Mom's pad is, like, fine for now, but we'll be looking to replace it or at least augment it. But it's nice, I guess. Nice-ish. Um, although I would have preferred almost any passive. But in any case, not everything in Isaac has to be balanced. And that's something that comes up all the time. With Eve, because Eve is bad. She's considered one of the worst characters in the game by almost everybody. Ed says that she's his favorite character, or has he said that previously in the past. Dude is crazy. Maybe you could admire it from a design perspective, but Eve is not that good. AKA, actually, like, that's my diplomatic way of saying pretty darn bad. And also, not even that much fun because kind of a lack of damage. If you want to give me, like, a, a tough but fun run, I prefer Judas for that kind of stuff. Mm, I don't really want to take this pill, just in case it is. Uh, bombs are key. We could get good stuff out of that bomb, but also I'd rather keep a key so we can make good stuff happen on the next floor, but I'm, ah, that damage doesn't bother me that much. We can always get back to full health, and if you're going to take damage, better to take it now. Oh my god, that is just the worst. That being said, uh, if, if you're going to easily make Eve a lot better, Keep everything the same. Make it so Dead Bird is not a passive. Or sorry, that makes no sense. That would make Eve a lot worse. Make it so that Dead Bird is always active. You don't have to get hit for Dead Bird to actually work. Now, Dead Bird is pretty strong when it actually comes out, so that might seem like you're kind of overcompensating, but Eve is like... I mean, not that I don't think I'm going to offend anybody by saying this. He's pretty shitty. So, for Dead Bird to be good, I mean, that doesn't necessarily bother me that much. Oh my god! This is shaping up to be one of those runs. Basically what I'm getting at is that Dead Bird being overpowered maybe would compensate for Eve being terrible. Now, having a speed downgrade right off the bat, uh, and a tears downgrade soon after that, doesn't really make me an objective, kind of unbiased uh, judge of Eve's capabilities. This all being said, good lord, please. I can't believe that we're actually, on our second floor, pretty much objectively weaker than we were on the first floor. What did we gain on the first floor? A freaking cube of meat. What did we gain on the second floor? A uh, tears downgrade, thus far. Oh, blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. Okay, we only have to deal with one of them. My my main thing on this floor is just gonna deal with the devil. Oh, that's sweet as well, okay. We're probably gonna be able to get the nun's habit. All we need is one penny. That'll make uh, mom's pad a lot better. 
Do we need a bomb to get the penny from back here? Yes. That's fine. We can go to our item room as well. Please be good offensively. Or an incredibly good defensive item. Because we really, really need to take out our boss here. Quickly. Game Kid. Well, there's Nun's Habit. Um, what's better, Game Kid or Mom's Pad? I mean, the Game Kid, very, very useful for blood banks. Mom's Pad, I think, pretty much trumps everything else. Or trumps Game Kid in all other respects. Offensively, at least. I don't know. Uh, we're going to buy the Nun's Habit, because if we didn't, we would deserve everything that we would get on this run. Plus, Eva looking a little cute there, you know? Not cute in, like, a Kate Upton kind of way. Cute in more of, like, a, uh, you know, Halloween costume kind of way. You know? Twick a tweet. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Look at how long it takes me to kill an individual spider here. Uh, okay. Yes, that is exactly what I was hoping for there. I didn't know how to do it myself. Oh, spider bite is so good. Do you like to do it yourself? No, I didn't know how to do it myself, but luckily the bombs just kind of worked out for me. Okie dokie. Now, mom's pad works. Spider bite works. Oh, this is still so slow. All right, the slow. speaking of slow, that's what we're going to be relying on to help us out an awful lot here. I expect that we are going to have to deal with a ton of spiders, and that is annoying. Yep, there we go. Our speed downgrade causes me to take damage here. That There goes our uh, deal with the devil chance. Feeling pretty great about that. One speed downgrade pill having a, an incredible impact on our chances. Oh, we got a range upgrade too. So basically, fuck me. We're going to go to our curse room. Please save me from my own prison here. Oh, baby, those are straight up bad. But on the bright side, and we have to look hard to find a bright side, but on the bright side, deal with the angel precedent now, if we can actually get to boss rooms without taking damage. But man, this is a bad start for an Eve run. No bombs, so I can't even get that tinted rock. Oh, we could go back in there. Don't mind if I don't. Let's see what we've got inside of our mob trap room. It is a chest. I would like to open it. But at the same time, um, we kind of got the same thing. Ooh, hoo, 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 the same thing going on that we've had going on for a while, which is we need to bum rush the boss because if we don't, we're pretty likely to take. Well, the, the, let's put it this way: the longer that we don't, or the longer we take to get there, the more likely it is that we take red heart damage. The more likely we don't get a special room. The more likely we go to the next floor, being as shitty as we are on this floor. So the game gave us. For all the shit that it's given us, it's given us a little bit of a gift here as well by not forcing us to go to the catacombs. If we were on catacombs, our life would be substantially harder. But because we're on the caves, we can survive. We can, I wouldn't say thrive, but at least have a chance to pull something out of the, you know, pull a rabbit out of the hat here. Speed up, please. Bombs are key. Oh my god. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better here. As if it wasn't bad enough that we randomed Eve to start with. Lots of things going against our way here. But hey, if we find the secret room or second secret room with this, I'd feel great. Either way, at least we got our bomb for key back. Key for bomb back, I guess. Uh, yes, we're going to go item room. Item room contains bomb bag. Well, now we've traded keys for bombs, but one key for many bombs. Oh, it's a bit more of a palatable trade. This demon judgment holds a key for us to improve ourselves drastically. But we're going to need to get a bomb first, which should be a no-brainer now that we have bomb bag. And then we're going to need to have... We're going to need to have the HP necessary to actually, like, get it to pay out. Which could be a lot, you know. You could get, like, 20 plays on a Demon Judgment before it pays out. Or you could get two and it'll pay out. Hopefully we're on a little bit more of that lower side. Money. Without keys, uh, money's relatively meaningless. But this is going to take us above the threshold of being able to spawn an arcade on the next floor, which is progress. It matters. Okay. This room is obviously, uh... Or this shop is obviously something that we're going to have to put on ice for now. I, don't, I have no idea when these guys are going to explode, because, uh... We're not doing very much damage at all, and there goes our red heart. I'm not very proud of that one. Come on... Dead bird, come on, just sort it out. There we go. 
And there's a key. Could use that for our shop. Probably will not for now. Now, there's one boss, one mini boss, I should say. You could have me be disappointed to fight when I have no damage. It would definitely be Envy. This Envy is going to be annoying as all hell. Now, Envy's not super strong. It's just very tanky. And that's going to be very bothersome because there's going to be like 17 of these freaking little Envy's to take out. Each one's going to take like three hits. Spider Bite! If we didn't have Spider Bite, I would probably almost throw in the towel. I never do throw in the towel, formally at least, but I would I would be considering that the towel is going to be thrown at some point, and um, I would lose. Eventually, not necessarily immediately. Um, but Spider Bite gives us the smallest hint of possible success. Isaac is a game where the rich get richer, and Spider Bite is like our lottery ticket. <laughs> You know, or like a relative that's really, really wealthy and sick and loves us. Like, it gives us hope. And not to say that, you know, you want your relative to die, but at the same time, it gives you hope for financial freedom in the future, I suppose, if things go to hell. That's a terribly selfish thing to say. I apologize for it. It was a hypothetical situation. It was not drawing on any real world corollary or anything like that. Um, but, okay, that was scary. At least we got some bombs out of it, so we can make use of that Demon Judgment, maybe. Um, yeah, it, it, it allows us to kind of hit above our weight class, you know? We're not very strong, but with Spider Bite, it's like we're wearing our wedding ring in a boxing match, you know? We're, we're weak, but, you know, if you punch somebody in the face with a little bit of gold, it hurts more than just your, your skin and bones, you know? And all we need to do is get, like, a... One punch knockout on Mike Tyson, grab mom's knife, and then we're good to go. The analogy kind of falls apart at that level. Just don't take damage. I really don't want to use bombs here. Oh, jeez Louise. Uh, don't take damage against Pestilence. You can do it. Look at how much damage I've done to him all right, already. Like, this fight's going super well. We're going to have to use bombs here. Are you kidding me? I need to keep one bomb at least. This is a nightmare machine for fucking pigs here. You know what? You just back off, mister. Don't start your shit with me, mister man. We're in for the long fucking haul here. This is like... No! Fuck everything, basically. I know I'm being very vulgar right now. At the same time, you gotta agree, this is some horse malarkey here. This is some mallard malarkey. Shorts are turning browner than a Maillard reaction. Doesn't make any sense. Sometimes the metaphors, you know, are poop. Literally, in that case. Uh, if, I, if I can't kill you this way, I'm gonna be real sad. Speaking of which, it's pretty sad that... Um, we're barely doing any damage, even with or Babylon working in our favor here. But hey, there we go. Sweet, a second level cube of meat. What can I say? It's extra damage. Why does this seem to happen so much on Eve runs? And I'm not even talking about the obvious thing, which is it happens on Eve runs because you don't have that much damage, so you're unlikely to avoid taking damage by deals with the devil. Fair. That's obvious. But why does it seem to happen that you just never get HP? And of course we didn't find our secret room because that would be too obvious. Um... Man, it seems to happen that you just, so often on an EVE run, it's just like 2 HP? What could be greater? 3 HP! 4 HP! All of these things are greater! So I was hoping that we'd be able to make our shop worthwhile. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. What does that mean? That means, um, unless we get a bomb here, probably not gonna go to our shop. Which means we're probably just gonna leave the floor. Unless we get... Well, if we get a bomb, we'd probably use it. I don't know what we'd use it for. I really don't. Secret room could be great, but also to access the demon judgment could be important. But then, you know, what if we play the demon judgment and we end up going down to the next floor with no item and, you know, just a half heart of red HP? That's not very much. We're in a completely unenviable situation here. And, unfortunately, the caves one was kind of our outs. We didn't get catacombs. We may not get catacombs on the next floor, but... You know, you don't always get lucky twice in a row. We got a bomb and a key. All right. Um, I think we have to look for the secret room instead. 
And I already placed a bomb there. So I'm going to place a bomb here and hope for the best. Pretty much how I expected that to go down. Oh, please be one penny here. We may not need it, but we may need it. Seriously. Don't do me dirty. I really want just one more penny. There could be something so useful in here. Oh, my Lanta. I really don't want to buy the... Uh, I don't want to buy the tarot card I want to buy the compass but I don't think we're gonna be able to oh my will my will has been sapped thank god we're on the caves no spirit hearts because what do you what is this a charity slightly increased damage if you're on the fourth floor and you're like I'm stoked that I got Cuban meat for the extra damage you're probably screwed I'm losing the will to survive which is a very dangerous place to be in the Binding of Isaac, because that will is what carries you until the game does. If we could find our boss, get a deal with the Angel Slash Devil, I don't care. I ain't picky at this point. Not gonna go to that curse room just yet. We really need, like, an HP drop, then Mom's Knife. That's what, that's what gets us out of this bucket of syrup. Without it. I mean, we could do it with Brimstone. We could do it with a variety of items over a long period of time, Ooh. but we don't necessarily have a long period of time because next floor, I'm thinking Necropolis. You know, I have nothing to back that up besides hunches, but I'm, uh, I wouldn't be surprised, let's put it that way. The game's been very generous to us in one way and one way only, and that's giving us the easy floor on the caves. That could easily go sour here. I really want to have... Mom's pad ready for the uh, for the boss fight. It recharges pretty quickly, so if we just go to one more room, we should be able to make it work. And don't take damage on this room. Ah! <laughs> oh! You know what? You know, I'll I'll eat it. Okay? These are throws on my part because I could conceivably avoid taking damage on these rooms. But you have to put yourself in my shoes. If I'm gonna accept 100% of the blame, you have to put yourself in my shoes. Dealing such little damage, like, less damage than we started the run with at this point, makes it a lot more difficult to avoid taking damage, because enemies live for a long freaking time. Now, look at this situation. We're fighting Gertie. We're gonna do next to no damage to Gertie. Um, this is the tanky version of Gertie that uh, only spawns enemies. I can't keep up with the flow of enemies that Gertie's gonna spawn. There's gonna be, like, new enemies every few seconds. I can drop bombs occasionally, I can mom's pad, but, you know, there's kind of no point, I feel. So what we're just gonna do is hang out on one side of the map, then I guess we'll mom's pad ourselves out of the, like, back half of this. And take care of as many enemies as we can during the mom's pad section of the fight. But look at, like, this fly army is descending upon me like the Thousand Nations of the Persian forces. I'm, I'm real scared. <laughs> Every time I come down into this region, there's like seven flies that take shots at me. And I don't even know if Mom's Pad affects those nubs. I'm thinking it does, but you can tell me anything right now and I would probably believe you. Oh, a Spirit Heart? Holy crap, I didn't think those existed on this run. I, those are the, the stuff of legend that uh, Grandfather spoke of in his journals. Oh, okay, you just, you can't be hit by... Uh, didn't realize that you couldn't be hit by tears when mom's pad was affecting you. That makes sense, I suppose. You enter a, a ghost world where uh, tears cannot reach you. How can I complain? We got a deal with, the, or we, we didn't get a deal with the devil, obviously. I spent a key, but we're going to save a key by using the stars card, which I am going to use right now, to get the rosary. And holy crap, we're actually in a position where we might be able to get a special deal on the next floor. I didn't think it would happen either, but here we are. And of course, this means that we're due for an XL floor next. Probably Necropolis. Don't get your hopes up. Don't cancel Christmas yet. Honey, I swear to God, I've got a great business deal coming through. Don't let me go, sweetheart. Merry Christmas. The Bible. It had to happen, alright? I bought the rosary. I'll eat shit on that one. It's okay. And I uh, picked up the key because we could use one. 
We will go to our curse room. We have enough spirit hearts to, to justify it. But man, this has been pretty much the definition of a shit Eve run thus far. Normally as Eve, you start bad. Bad start in Isaac. It's not a death sentence. But if you don't get anything good, and you don't get it quickly... You know, Isaac's... For all of my, oh, just wait for the game to carry you type stuff, Isaac's a very momentum-based game. Because the better you do, the better you're likely to do in the future. As a result of the way it like, deals with the devil and, and angel. At least I think angel, but the way it deals with the devil work for sure. So if you start in a bad position, you really end up behind the eight ball, you know? It makes it difficult to come back and really get something going. We're going to hurt ourselves anyway on the blood banks and the curse room, so we might as well use our mom's pad a little bit here to take care of some of these enemies. Don't drop a consumable in the middle, please. Alrighty then. So I would say we'll, we'll put a bomb here. Maybe we'll find a second secret room, but we'll get four cents at least. The secret room doesn't interest me at all. But I'm going to look for it anyway, just in case it's the one in a hundred shot of getting a, a fetus item or, you know, some other item that's amazing. We got tons of money out of it. I can't be salty about that. That's pretty good. It's like 20 cents. Now, if we get an XL floor and the XL floor contains greed, I will be salty about it a little bit, but I'll be salty about those items and rooms generating, not the fact that we got money here. I can't not in this situation. I have to. Because we, we need an out. I know we've become guppy fairly often recently. Uh, we have to go through with this, though. There's just no way around it. And I, I wish it were different. Don't get me wrong. But we don't have a choice in the matter. And, oh, this is good because we can actually get permanent uh, Horror Babylon type state going. And we could even take Goat Hoof temporarily. Is that the Joker? Two of spades. Doubles our keys. Chariot. Okay, well, we'll use that right away. This could be big plays for us. The money is obviously sorted here, but um, I'm just, it's a bad idea to use this right away. Let's not use it right away. That curse room could end, could end up changing the tone of the game. But really, we're, we're gambling for spirit hearts right now. That could be exactly what I need to get myself back into this. But to be able to have the Horror of Babylon kind of damage bonus here is sweet. If we get the Blood Bag, which we didn't, uh, I would have taken it, but I would have lost my Horror of Babylon ability, which would be disappointing, but oh well. Uh, I'm going to go until we get down to 15 cents. I'm going to roll with the Goat Hoof, because the extra speed upgrade is huge. For me, as someone who's gotten a speed downgrade, it's huge anyway. If there's Red Hearts here, we're not going to take them. Maggie's Faith. Uh... Pretty much have to, even though the goat hoof is is good and provided a much needed service. We don't notice the speed downgrade as much right now because I'm uh, using horror Babylon basically. So 15 cents again, magic number. Oh, so good. Keys are not going to be an issue for the near future. We're not going to use it right away though. If we can avoid it, that's 15 cents. I'll go down one more. Alright. Okay. Time to leave. Alright. Well, from Nine Lives and Guppy's Paw, we gain almost nothing. And I mean that sincerely. But what we do gain, you know, the other part of the almost. Yeah, sure, I'll take a second speed downgrade. Don't mind if I do. The second part, you know, the almost is there because we gain potential. Now we gain hope. You know what I was saying? You know, I've, I've almost checked out the way that Dunstan checks in. I'm back in, baby. And I'm I'm calling front desk and I'm saying, give me a late checkout because I'm on vacation. I don't want to have to wake up before 10.30 just to get my ass out of the hotel so you can clean it up. That was bad damage on, on my part there. Oh, thank you, dead bird. Much appreciated. Any second now, you'll, uh, thank you. Uh, don't pick that up. Okay, how did Caves 2 go? A little overwhelming, but we seem to be in a pretty good spot, and we're on Depths Part 1. Oh, snap. This is huge for us. 
Two of Spades gives us eight keys. Yum heart. Uh, with Nun's Habit, it's really good. Like, really, really good. Why am I not taking it, then? Is Mom's Pad somehow better? I don't think so, but I guess the reason I'm not taking it is because we don't have that many red hearts. And we have this Eternal Heart that's making me think we're not going to play that many Blood Banks, but in the late game, it might be the right play. So we'll, we'll revisit this on occasion. Seriously, I'm going to need you to F yourself. Sorry for the strong language there, parents at home. This is a series you should not watch with your children unless they're uh, of an age that either doesn't understand swear words or is adult enough to understand them and realize that they're funny. So if you're watching this with your infants, that's okay. If you're watching this with your eight-year-old, what is wrong with you? I'm just joking. It's probably, you know, there's enough people out there that watch this video that somebody out there probably fits that bill. I'm not going to tell you how to raise your kids. Easy for me to fucking say. This is like childless 25-year-old out here. Hey, you should raise your kids like this. Hey, maybe uh, step one, don't give unsolicited advice to people that are in a different position than you if you don't know you got, you got to walk a mile in their freaking shoes first. And their feet are going to hurt because they've been on their feet all day because they got kids, you asshole. I'm talking to myself here, by the way. So there goes Horror Babylon State because I'm an idiot. And we're going to go back to uh, shit damage. That being said, it's this is our shit damage. <laughs> We really should have a nearly 100% chance, if not over 100% chance, of getting a deal with the devil. You know what? Yes. Goodbye. Oh, thank God. Ooh, careful on that one. I think it's possible that Cube of Meat is actually doing more damage than we are. It's not a great position to be in. I don't really care if I buy the ladder. I was going to say I don't think we're going to buy it. I really just don't. I can't be bothered to give two shakes of a lamb's tail whether or not we pick that up it matters not because I I'm thinking we're gonna be flying soon anyway baby we're gonna be up in the mile high club getting our guppy on I hope even becoming guppy uh, whatever even becoming guppy is not gonna be that big of a deal I mean, it's going to be a huge deal proportional to where we are, but in the whole scheme of things, Isaac-wise, it's not going to be worth that much because our flies are not going to do very much damage. We're still... It's going to be one of the very rare Guppy runs where we're going to become Guppy and be like, okay, now we need some damage upgrades or we'll probably lose. But it is the easiest out for us without a question. Um, this We do not need Mom's pad for this one. And I am just, I am shocked and amazed that A, we're alive, but also B, we've had such terrible items, and yet we're still here. I mean, it's good. It's good that we can still persevere and come through this. At the same time, man, throw me a freaking bone or something, game. Because if you're just going to, excuse me, did you see that, uh, you know, head spontaneously generate out there? That doesn't seem right. Ooh. Baby, I love your way. Ah, even the Frampton couldn't save me on that one. Okay, it's got to be our boss room. Very, very shortly up here. Ooh, yep, that's bad. Don't throw it now, you, you jerk. I'm talking to myself here. You got the very little amount of time that you have to... We're going to take this for now, but come back for Maggie's Faith. You only have to keep it together for a very short amount of time now. Just don't take red heart damage. You got nine freaking lives. If you lose all your spirit arts but keep your red heart damage, it don't matter. You're in a good position. Maybe. You got to get this deal with the devil, though. Also, Mom, I got to have my pops, but mostly it's the whole deal with the devil thing. So we got two spirit arts and a full Mom's pad charge to take into this fight. That it has to be enough. If it's not, I'm just gonna... Well, what what more can you do but laugh, you know? I started a joke, Dad. Started the whole world laughing. Oh, is it big? Can it blend? All of the important questions mankind has asked itself over its relatively short stay on this old Earth. This old Earth, by the way, my favorite uh, Bob Vila show. It's actually Bob Villa. Oh, come on. With the Bob Villa jokes. 
This is actually amazing. This could be a huge coup for us. So many chances for guppy items just perish in a fiery blaze. Okay, we got rage. Ooh, and deal with the angel. Ooh, that is not sacred heart. But it is pretty good. Pretty good. It's uh, how do you feel about the mitre, Northern Lion? It's a uh, it's a uh, pretty good. Feel like I'm losing my mind here. Uh, normally, consider myself somewhat articulate. We've been recording a lot of Isaac today. Get back in the swing of things after a hectic weekend. It's 10:23 p.m. Past my bedtime. Not even close, but still. Um, okay. I'm glad we found it so early. Didn't gain too much out of it, but we can buy the ladder, and I, we might as well. There's probably going to be an arcade on the next floor, so we can get as much money as we want anyway. To get back to the shop, I should say. So sure, why not? Are we gonna... Nah, we're not gonna. Are we gonna? No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. What I'm debating in my head is whether or not we're going to take the... The Yum Heart, or if we're going to stick with Mom's pad. We're gonna. Ah, we're not gonna. I think... I can't shake the feeling that Mom's pad is going to be better for us. It might seem really stupid. It might be really stupid. But I think we're going to stick with Mom's pad. Why? Mostly because I, you know, sure there could be a, thank God we're on the depths by the way, there could be a blood bank down here, on an arcade or otherwise. Then, Yum Heart would be sweet, but we'd be sacrificing our eternal heart to play it, uh, to play the blood bank that is. Um, but we'd get a payout because we've already had IV bag, sure, there's, there's a lot of value in that. We could use the H people speed upgrade, I mean we'd, it would basically just be a net speed upgrade, but that's okay. I could use a net speed upgrade. We might as well take Ace of Spades now. This is actually a pretty big coup for us. Even if it only gives us like one bicycle card or playing card down here. Um, could be amazing. If it's the Joker, for example. Also, please, a curse room. But anyway, Mom's Pad, I think, is going to be more useful for us long term. Ooh, that was close. Um, as an offensive item, because we need offensive items like the freaking day is long. I'm going to use this right here. Um... Without offense, look, these guys look so silly with their oh, shots ready to fire. Um, without offense, our H HP doesn't really matter that much. And I would rather have a run where we have some kind of offensive, oh, so good, some kind of offensive capabilities than a run where we keep ourselves alive but don't do any damage so we end up dying more quickly anyway. I hope that my explanation is uh, borderline adequate. Thank God we got out of there. Oh, jeez. Um, well, we've hopefully simplified this a little bit. That's good. Got some bombs back, too. And there we go. The Devil card, potentially very useful. Please don't lose your damage and then turn around. Lose your slow and then turn around, I should say. Nice. This room somehow turned out surprisingly well. We gained on that room, which is a big surprise to me. Anyway. Yes, I apologize if I am uh, less than 100% cogent right now. A little bit of Isaac brain melt going on, but if if we can pull out a victory on this run, that would really be the triumph of my, uh, my Isaac recording day. I'd feel fantastic about that. And I think there's a chance, but we're working hard for it. Everybody wants a thrill, you know, as the case may be. And really, it all... It hinges on a little bit more than this, but it's largely just a product of getting as many chances to get a guppy item as possible. More than enough to buy whatever we can get from the shop here. Oh, oh, thank you for actually working. Um, well, I've effed up that Leaper pretty badly. He's, like, not even of this world anymore. That was terrible. I'm taking a lot of dumb damage. It's okay, maybe. Yeah, we'll check out that tarot card, because it could be extraordinarily valuable. I am going to take Charm of the Vampire. Kind of a compromise between Yum Heart and... Uh, we'll check for the second secret room up here. Between Yum Heart and itself, I guess. Empress. That's uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other. We can't really take both with us, so... 
We'll just be okay with what we got. That is our secret room. Not fetus items, but at least we know we're not fighting greed. That's actually something I was very concerned about. So we popped our Empress card, which will allow us to at least get use out of it. We still got Spirit Arts backing us up. Thank God we picked up that Hierophant. Otherwise, I would guarantee to have, like, no Spirit Arts to leave this floor with. And we'll make sure we go back for the Devil card, even though it's not a big deal just yet. This is a very weird run. It's been a very, very, very weak run. I'll definitely get that red chest. Don't have to spend a key for it. Even if I did, though, I know we took dumb damage there, but I didn't see a way out of it. But losing uh, one and a half spirit hearts, not really where I want to be. Those are not guppy items. Last time I checked. Uh, we gotta go. Yeah, yeah, okay, we live somehow. There's a tarot card in there. These guys are going to turn on you pretty quick. And there they go. In the wrong direction, thankfully. And there's HP we can't do anything with. Empress. Okay, well, we're back on this old song and dance again. We will go to the curse room. Uh, <laughs> getting hit there hurts so bad because now if I go to the curse room, I'll lose my eternal heart. But we have to go to the curse room because if I don't go to the curse room, then I'm an idiot. And I can't get a guppy item. But if, is it really worth sacrificing one potentially full HP to do it? You know, yeah, you know, eh? <laughs> you know? It's like, it's in the middle. If it's a guppy item, it's worth all of our HP. If it's not a guppy item, it's, it's not worth the HP, probably. You don't get Mom's Knife that often from uh, the Curse Room. Maybe the Pact. Spirit of the Night or something like that. Then it's worth the HP, probably. It's an exceptional disappointment to get the Bible in there again, uh, but it is what it is. We could use the Bible, but I, you know, I actually have a great use for the Bible. Let's take it. We're going to use this to not take damage on the way into that curse room, which will save us half a spirit heart. It's not worth 15 cents, but it is worth 15 cents to get it out of our freaking pool, finally. Okie dokie, um, so, we're gonna take Brimstone, and we're gonna take Spirit of the Night, even if it killed us, which it didn't, but even if it did, too bad, uh, and we're doing this, we are doing this, I should say, because this is what it's gonna take for us to win, is to quadruple down on dumb deals like this. Now we'll go to our boss trap room, where hopefully we'll get some of our HP back. I don't know, oh, <laughs> oh. I don't know how much damage we're dealing with Brimstone. We're going to find out pretty darn quickly. Ace of Spades is still what we want. I don't really care if we lose this life. If we get hit, we respawn with exactly the amount of HP we'd have if we made it through this mom fight without getting hit. So it doesn't really matter. And we've already taken both of our deal with the devil items. Anyway. Oh, you know what? I'm content with this damage. Charge up time is a little long. But I, I mean that sincerely. I'm happy with the amount of damage we're dealing. You now if we could get uh, Guppy, even better. What the heck are you doing here? Yeah. So I'm not going to use the Empress card. I Honestly, that doesn't change my opinion of it. Blue Mom. That freaking sucks. We're not one-shotting Keepers. Oh, man. The Tears downgrade is such a piss-off. My, like, rate of fire is just slightly longer than I would like it to be. If only because I keep accidentally firing too quickly. Because I'm like, oh, it should be ready by now, and it isn't. So our damage <laughs> is still not good, actually. Uh, I got a little bit ahead of myself when I said I'm happy with our damage. It's better, but still pretty bad. At least we're one-shotting conga lines. And double spiders. That's not that big of an accomplishment. Um, don't die towards the end of this. Use mom's pad like this. Uh, the doors are moving. That scares the crap out of me. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I was worried about. We, we survived it just fine. But for a second there, I was like, uh, I don't know. So we still got an Empress card left. Sweet. Um... Pretty fly. Excellent, I guess. 
we're in an incredibly weird situation. I think we have a chance. I mean, I guess if you got Brimstone and you can fly, you always got a little bit of a chance. Didn't we have the compass? That must have been the last run. It's the danger of a lot of Isaac. I've really... I mean, this... Unbelievably sincerely, even though I complain a lot, and a lot of it is like, you know, half-joking. I can't believe that we haven't gotten a single tiers upgrade over this run. That is a, a statistical abnormality, my friend. Normally, you get the occasional tiers upgrade at least. We have only had tiers downgrades. As far as I can recall. Now, it is nice that we pretty much get one guaranteed kill at least on every room that we go into as soon as we walk in. It's a start. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. I'm happy with it. Let's try it out. Are those three... Those are three bombs or key pills. And one tears downgrade. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those, is it? It's gonna be one of those. My mom's pad... Like, the duration of Mom's pad is approximately long enough for me to get one Brimstone charge. That is sad freaking potatoes right there. It's an expression I just made up, but I kind of like it. I am actually happy with our bombs and keys as they are. That's not a secret tinted rock. Alright, we're going to do this uh, little song and dance again, I see. Brimstone does not synergize well with Spider Bite. Gives you a lot less chances for the the bites of the spiders to work. But I forgot we had rage, so we actually are building a little bit of damage as well with every enemy we kill. Oh ho ho ho! Ooh, that was scary. So a deal with the devil is incredibly important for us here. We've already been there, I think. If we can get a deal with the devil, there's a chance that all of our problems will be solved. Really? Is this just what this floor is? This is the floor of Gertie Juniors that never freaking ends? Yes, it goes on, my freaking friends. Uh, please don't make that sound here at the table. Your mother and I are trying to eat. This run is a, uh, it's a war of attrition. We're gonna get another spirit art for it. I mean, that's great. This may go down as the most positive floor we've had yet. Of course, it could still finish in crushing disappointment. Much like every uh, instance of intercourse I've ever experienced. Hold me. Um, so it only takes us like four or five uh, thousand brimstone shots. Oh, that was well done. In order to kill a blastasis segment, a precursor. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. At this rate, we should be finished this run. I'm thinking maybe 30 or 40 minutes. After I die of old age in real life, we should be so lucky to make it that far. Good shot. Need to get a shot speed up if we're going to hit those. Don't go down again. Thank you. I appreciate your conscientiousness. Conscientiousness. It's a hard word. I'm so done with this run. Like, I'm invested just because of the reputation that I could spin for myself if I beat it. I'll be like, I'm not gonna be like, hey, check out this run, I won. Wow, aren't I good? But, you know, all of it, the fulfillment of self-actualization, a feeling of that deep inside of me, um, which will, it'll be nice, you know, I'll sleep a little easier tonight, knowing I, I hopefully didn't let people down on a run where I could have lost in, uh, you know, 11 minutes. Instead, maybe I, uh, maybe I won. And if we can do that, Hey, man, that's pretty, that's something you can hang your hat on, right? A feeling of self-worth. Better to derive it, you know, not necessarily from being good at a video game, but hey, I took what I could get. Yes, I took what I could get. Pretty amazing to me that we haven't run across any rooms of special interest yet. This strikes me as the kind of floor where we're super excited about our deal with the devil chances, and then we just don't get them. Which happens all the time. Oh, these pills, man. I... I don't even know what to say. I really thought that would... murder several of them. Ooh, that was dangerous. So what's my ideal outcome here? 
Ideally, though, I would get Squeezy for the Spirit Hearts and the Tears. A deal with the Devil. Uh, it'd probably be better to get, like, Super Bandage. Even though I want the Tears, I want to have the Spirit Hearts left over after we take a deal with the Devil, too. Remember, this is my ideal world here. So if I say, I, uh, you know, we're going to get a deal with the Devil for Guppy's Tail, then that's what we're going to get. We're going to get a freaking deal with the Devil for Guppy's Tail. So we'll have, we'll have to get Super Bandage or something Ooh, in order to make that work, but that's okay. Okay, careful. Okay, that was not scary in the least. Very, oh, very easy run, all things considered. Mostly due to the incredible amount of damage and HP we have. How could I even be scared? Nothing to be worried about on this run. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nope, that's another trinket that only a mother could love. No curse room on this floor. I think I've explored everything. It's not conquest, everybody. Let's say, it, uh, you know, three cheers because we're not fighting conquest. Somebody up there likes me right now. This could easily be slightly more annoying. So we're going to get a third level cube of meat. Which means we're probably better off just sticking with, uh, you know, level two. Especially since we have only one other orbital. Oh, we got a spirit heart back. I don't know, though. Because the extra damage from Meat Boy might be worthwhile. Oh, I have to try. I know the pain that it brings me, but I have to try. We're going to get third level Meat Boy. I have to get that extra damage, man. We could still become Guppy. We'll explore the entirety of this floor. Don't even question it. We'll be exploring the entirety of this floor because I would gladly sacrifice a life for any guppy item in the world. Spirit hearts are not easy to come by, but they're easier to come by than guppy items. And, you know, the mark was not my ideal choice there. Why dodge into that? That could have gone so bad. Uh, it's not my ideal deal with the devil item there, but it's good enough to take. And I really feel that without damage, we're sunk on this run. It doesn't matter how many spirit arts we have, probably. Why take third level Meat Boy? For Isaac and Blue Baby, it's going to be a real freaking problem. I'm cognizant of that fact. But I, uh, I figured on rooms that were not Isaac or Blue Baby, uh, I could pretty much just hang out over the rocks. So I forgot we had the Miter, so spirit arts should be relatively easy to come by, I guess. Um... Figured we could just hang out over the rocks and let third level Meat Boy actually do some damage for us. He's like the, you know, the dead bird that doesn't need to be activated. He's just always on. Really? It's like our sixth tiers downgrade pill. At least they don't change form. That would be horrifying. So there's our, our boss room. I don't really want to go through with it yet. If possible, I would like to wait on it. We got a stars card. I don't know. Doesn't matter to me. This demon judgment is a, it's a tempting beast, isn't it? Because we can get a lot of plays out of each spirit heart. But is it really worth the risk? I think the answer to that question is a very decided... Mm. Don't worry, I'll never make that sound again. Thank you, Meat Boy. That helps a lot. That was like Vats right there. Masks didn't even know they were dead until after it happened. Oh, I wish that was just the item itself. Okie dokie. Oh, that was a moment of truth. I should have stars carded out of there. Jeez Louise. I really thought with, with three red chests, the dream was alive there, man. I really thought that was it. But yet, somehow, against all that is holy in nature... We're still alive on this run. And in some ways, stronger than ever. 
Sorry, Kaffir's getting in my nose, getting me all uh, kind of stuffed up here. Wow, really? Thanks, uh, thanks for nothing, game. Wow, okay. Wow, really? Okay, game. I get it. Really thought that maybe that would be Epic Fetus. I'm clinging to hope. Looking for love in all the wrong places here. The Demon Judgment is potentially a way out, but I can't... I can't see it. I think that we're putting our eggs in the right basket here by keeping our spirit hearts now. How convenient. Alright, so let's try this. I like this, because we got Meat Boy chewing. Keeps our crowd control game decent. Don't kick this shit back in my face, Meat Boy. I'll come to your house and I will knock over your mailbox and I'll tell your parents you did it because you were mad that they grounded you for watching Breaking Bad even though it's an R-rated series and you're only 14. It's an elaborate story. Somebody out there is probably like, oh my god, how does Northern Lion know my life story? I didn't, baby. You just told me. So, um... We're gonna beat Mom's heart. I don't think that was ever really in question. Is this... Can we do this? Like, I've been mostly keeping hope alive just to keep face, you know? Just to be like, well, of course there's a chance, yada yada. But now I'm starting to see, like, the pieces falling into place. I'm starting to see, you know, that we're only a couple of good miter payouts away, along with this Emperor... Oh, that was bad. Along with this Empress card, of being able to beat Isaac. And if we beat Isaac, we open up the things in the chest, maybe there's Polyphemus in there or something. We're not that far off of a run that's actually a win. Which blows my mind wide effing open. It's not set in stone yet. It's still very much the more unlikely of the possibilities. But it is a... It's starting to crystallize. The chances of it happening are starting to crystallize. And that's amazing. <laughs> like, that right there is so useful. But it, it, it really sincerely is amazing. Because this should not work out for us. For all the negativity that we've had over the course of this run. You know, let, let this, at least up until this point... Let this be a lesson to those people who think, oh, Brimstone's overrated. By Brimstone standards, we're not even doing that much damage with Brimstone. A lot of people are going to say, oh, this is Spider Bite. Spider Bite's winning this for you, or Mom, Mom's Pad is winning this for you. I, It's Brimstone flying, man. Brimstone flying knocks it out of the park. And we could Brimsnap it. I don't think it's necessary. Stop moving out of sync with one another. That's what we're looking for right there. It's worth waiting for. Now we strike. How do we slow one but not the other? It's alright. You gotta be one hit away. Good stuff. So I will explore the entirety of the floor even though it scares the crap out of me because I, I have to find a curse room. If there's a curse room, I gotta take it. A pill? Of course! Why am I even mad? I press the button in Binding of Isaac that just says all pills are bad and I accept that. I should just learn to live with my, uh, my consequences, I suppose. Normally, this, is be, this would be where we'd fight Isaac and we'd say, oh good, we found Isaac early. But we have no such uh, freedom at this moment. Because we're still exploring to look for that one item that takes us over the hill and through the woods. To our own house we go, I guess, if we're Isaac. Shoot, shoot, cha. Oh. Oh. Well, thank you for exploding, at least. I don't think we need to use Mom's pad here. Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world, but I'd rather save it for a room that's a little bit more, you know, prudent. Like this one, for example. That's much better. No spirit hearts? Are you kidding me, man? Well, we are going to look for... Secret room. Wasted a bomb. That's okay. Man, that is not epic fetus. That is a pill. Sure. Now we have two orbitals. That's good. 
I can't summon any cynicism about that. That's very good for us. Now, just let there be, A, more spirit hearts. B, this is all of the above, by the way. Um, but B, a curse room. C, Polyphemus just sitting around randomly. All the golden chests in the world. Do we even gain anything from this? Like, Book of Revelations, maybe? Book of Belial. Yes, yes, Book of Belial is better for us than Mom's Pad, I think. Is that worth it? I can't see how it would be. Curse room. It's going to cost us so much to go to this curse room if it even is here. At least a third of our HP. Mind you, the cost never goes up. Just the proportional cost because our HP could go down. But with Book of Belial, we're doing some real damage here. Bombs are real, that's for sure. Just let there be a curse room. I'll pay the I'll pay the toll. I oh, okay. Well Empress. After we get hit once, we can pop Book of Belial. Jump in there, bam bam. We win, we go down to the chest. A triumph awaits us. And yes, we're not going to respawn with three spirit hearts. We're going to respawn with one red heart. So this is our life. It's now or never, as uh, Bon Jovi said. John Bovi. Take it extremely, extraordinarily slow. We throw in a bomb. We shoot a brimstone shot. That's our damage dealer. Bomb. Ooh. Bomb and brimstone. Nope, stay away from that one. Gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Second phase of Isaac awaits. Haven't even had to use, well, had a chance to use Book of B-Lol yet. Careful, careful. Care most important thing is your carefulness in this day and age. Now Meat Boy gets in there. Now we're not gonna have any respites. We are gonna be under the gun at all times. So what's our goal? Our goal... Fuck yourself. Our goal... I can't even say the words anymore. Our goal... This should probably be to take out the angel fetuses, but it's very surprising to me to learn that it takes uh, eight hits to take out a single angel fetus. I didn't think that that would be the case here. Miraculously, we've somehow survived. I can't help but feel there's some sort of clerical error that has allowed this to happen, but we seem to be going down to the chest. Tarot cards, the relic, Brother Bobby, poison bombs. Just enough to give us hope, but not enough to give us the carry. How, uh, how very Isaac. Thank you for the tower card. That means a lot to me. The relic is helpful if we can live long enough to actually generate some spirit hearts from it. Well, that was a good start. <laughs> So I'm thinking, well, the relic drops spirit hearts in the ground, yeah. So I'm thinking we, uh, we kind of, wow, that could have been the worst damage. This is not looking good. Let's put it that way. But I'm thinking we generate all the spirit hearts that we can. We leave them on the ground, and that'll be for our Isaac fight. Blue baby fight. You know the drill. If you kick any of those bombs at me, Blue Baby, I swear to God, I would, you'll end up in freaking Fist of the North Star. And not as Ken. Um, yeah. So, the Relic is not useful for keeping us alive in the short term, in my opinion. Where its usefulness will come from is... Oh, jeez. Uh, is... In allowing us to get a lot of Spirit Hearts in the ground... And then getting them all at once before the before the blue baby fight. And I think that's just about crazy enough to work. What do you do against super lust? Well, usually you start by shitting your pants. And then these bombs kick in. And maybe you kill one of them. And then you don't have to, you know, concern yourself with as much existential dread. Oh, we got Yum Heart. 
That's totally fucking useless. How do you handle this one? We gotta go for the tarot card. It's the... We gotta get Gluttony taken out last, because the HP could be so meaningful. Gluttony is like, you think you're gonna kill me last? I don't think so, motherfucker. Yeah, right. Why does he have so much HP all of a sudden? Two of diamonds. We'll pop that right away. Two spirit hearts. We're actually gonna use a bomb to blow that spirit heart away from the door. Just so we can, you know, easily... <laughs> just so we can not accidentally walk into it. If we're backtracking. And here's our boss. I think it's the wrong play to fight the boss right away. Not just because that rhymes, therefore making it, you know, plus 50% truthful. Um, but because even if we lose a lot of our lives in deaths, we can generate at least a couple more spirit hearts, can't we? And if we do that, our chances of winning basically effing skyrocket. You may remember him as uh, Luke Skyrocket's cousin. Wish that was a spirit heart, but instead it's a bomb. Bob had a bomb. It's a boy. Now, you know the deal here. Ideally, I'm going to kill Sloth last. Historically, we've been unable to guarantee that. Hey, Sloth's helping us out here. No. <laughs> well, we got another spirit art in the process. As soon as we start picking up these spirit arts, we got to pick up all of them. We're not fast. We should keep that in mind. When we try to do these, you know, dipsy doodle dodges. Who do we kill first? Shit, dude. Whoever we can. This is the hardest of the rooms, I'd say. Greed can one-shot you out of nowhere. Wrath is really the easy one. And he's the one we'd like to kill last anyway, so I guess that's good. Because he could give us maybe Mr. Mega. Which would be huge, because we got that tower card we can maybe use effectively for once in our lives. Mr. Mega Poison Bombs. Well, he just gave us a bomb, but that's okay. You know what? I'm gonna take, uh... That sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna take the the blame for that one. Oh, okay. Well, I don't feel great about this. Don't shoot at me, you... You dingle. You Joe Dirt-loving Philistine. Don't shoot at me. Stop shooting at me. I, I've said my piece on this. I disagree with your course of action, my friend. Stop it. Stop it. Meat Boy. Please. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Boom. Not very good at all. That feels terrible. <laughs> I am... I am not in a good place. So that's our, that's our cue. We're fighting our boss now. Don't get hit by these spikes. Or I'll, uh... I'll be real salty. So we collect all the spirit hearts. Do we have a chance here? Eh. Sort of. Sort of. It's better than it could have been. Probably. It's weird. I don't really know what to say about it. It's been a long and exhausting run. Those bombs were pretty much in a perfect spot except for the one that hit me. That one I would take away if possible. So, this is bad. We have rage, but we're going to be dodging, say, approximately uh, 200,000 shots per second. Dead Bird and Meat Boy doing what they think is best, but kind of throwing me under the bus a little bit in actuality. I don't know if you get multiple Book of Belial charges. Oh, that damage was the worst. I didn't think he could come back for me. Pretty sure we are done, Ski. But we're gonna re spawn right on top of me. We reached the third phase. I consider that a, an incredible achievement on that run. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run regardless of the way it ended and the way it started and progressed. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.